Hey guys, Matt from Upsilon Mining and back at you with another video here and we're going to today compare the 3090 builds with 6600 XT builds. Uh, we're going to do a comparison between one base 3090 build with a six, six card rig and we're going to compare that with the equivalent of six card rigs of 6600s and eight card rigs of 6600 XTs or all, X, all 6600 XTs. A couple assumptions here is that um, we are trying to get 750 mega hash per second on Ethereum, and we are going for uh, 10 kilowatts, sorry, 10 cents per kilowatt hour would be the electrical rate here. Uh, another assumption is that the base rig will run at 120 rot, uh, watts base rig, so that's including the motherboard, the CPU, and whatnot. So starting with the 3090 rig, we've entered all the components here, six 3090s plus all the different uh, components, um, these prices are based off consistent uh, one out, uh, uh, seller, which is Best Buy, um, based off of the prices I found today. So 479 for the 6600 XTs and six, sorry, 1899 for the 3090s. We're going to require more more GPU risers, more video card, sorry, more um, motherboard, CPUs and fans, RAM, and power supplies for the the 6600 equivalents than just this one. So we've gone through and we added the quantity of all the items here, which includes generally risers, motherboards, RAM, uh, 1300 watt power supplies, two of them for the 3090, just to power those extra powerful um, GPUs, six packs of thermal pads, ASIC fans. I put that there because you need more airflow, higher flowing fans, one frame, cable splitters, six packs, and fan controller to fan control them as well. And, um, also, there's going to be one riser card, which I can add in here as well. So let's add a riser card. So one riser card. Because we're going to assume we're going to use simply a, a, you know, a Facebook Marketplace fine for 100 bucks. We've got a motherboard, CPU, and the fan, the cooler, and everything's on it. Um, for the 8-card rigs, we are assuming that we're buying beefier motherboards that can support 8-plus GPUs. So maybe gaming motherboards or motherboards like a server BT37 a motherboard, which allows up to eight GPUs. So I've increased the cost just a little bit, say $150 on that. In order to get 750 mega hash per second, we only need six 3090s because they hit around 125 during optimal settings. And in uh, optimal, uh, um, I guess optimal environments and temperature and everything, we'll get over around 125 mega hash. 6600s will hit around 32 mega hash, so we'll require 24 6600s to equal the 6 3090s. We get a total rig build here for the 3090s of 12,405. We get a total rig build for the six card rigs, five of them, of the 6600s for 13,773. And for the eight card rigs for the 6600 XTs, we got a total rig build of 1305946. .06. Okay, so if you take a look at the breakdown, We've broken down extra motherboards, extra risers, extra fans, frame, and splitters for the various builds here. A uh, thousand watt power supply should be fine. We could probably get away with 850 watt power supplies, even, and um, which will lower the overall cost as well. Let's start at the 3090. Electrical cost per day is 454. Electrical cost on the 6600 six card rig is 472. And the electric cost per day on the eight card rigs are 444. Cost per year on the 3090 is 1657 roughly. On the 6600 six card, 172280. And on the eight card, 6600, 162060. As I mentioned, the mega hash per card will be there, uh, measured this way. The mega hash per card is 125, optimal environment on the 3090, and 32 on the 6600 XTs. Total mega hash on this rig is 750. Total hash rate on these cards are 768. The reason why it's higher is we can't split a card in half, so we had to get a total of 24 cards, and that brings the total to 768 mega hash. Watts per card are here, 315 and 57, respectively. The watts for the rigs for uh, 30, uh, the three rigs are 120, 600, and 480, only because we need five uh, sets of GPUs, oh, sorry, five sets of um, Motherboards, RAM, uh, CPUs, and everything uh, support these five rigs. And for these, we require three. So the wattage on that one is 480, 
and wattage on the six card is 600 and the wattage on the 3090 is 120. So total effective watts left to right is 2010, 1968, and 1848. Effective um, efficiency rate would be 0.37 mega hash per watt on the 3090, 0.39 mega hash per watt on the six card, and 0.41 or 0.42 mega hash per watt on the 6600. So we're going up in efficiency from left to right as well. Profit per day as per today and what to mine entering these wattage and uh, mega hash values are 2524, 2611, and 2640 respectively left to right. ROI on the 3090 is 491 days. ROI on the 6600 is 527 and the ROI on the 8 card is 494. So we're looking at a three day difference on the 8 card rigs which I would build. I wouldn't build these but we're looking at a three card, a three day difference on ROI and a 35 day difference on the 6 card rig. So not too much of a difference really. Now what do these numbers show? You might look at this and say, well, I'm going to get the rig with the, the smallest ROI, which is 491, but this comes with multiple caveats, and I'll explain that again real quickly right here. So, extra heat, hard to maintain. Okay, so these cards are hard to maintain. They get hot, um, they over, they thermal throttle, thermal throttle easily. They can crash requiring overclock changes, extra cooling, fans. I got giant drum fans in front of my 3090 and 3080 uh, rigs just to get extra airflow through them. Okay? So these are um, the issues I found with the 3090. The 6600s are, um, so it's basically inconsistent hash rate. 6600 is easy to maintain unless you get a failing component, which is rare, I find, even with the the RAM and the motherboard. And unless you get, if you get good parts that aren't gonna that are in good condition, they're not gonna break down. Don't thermal throttle easy. These are the same benefits on both eight and six card. Stable. These are stable. Don't need super cooling. You don't need giant fans blowing on them, although it'd be nice, you just, as long as you have good airflow in the room and consistent hash rate. I'm always worried about my 3090s throttling. When it gets hotter outside, I'm not worried about it happening with the 6600s. Those will pump out the same hash rate regardless, which further skews these numbers. This is actually, in actuality, not going to be 125, 24, 7, but these are much more likely to be 31 to 32, way more, um, way more consistently on a 24-7 basis. And also, you're going to lose time, sleep, on this one. Because you're going to worry about these rigs crashing, you're going to have to go down to your, your, your mining area, restart rigs constantly. If things aren't cooled down there, if you, they are cooled down there, you spent a boatload of extra money on cooling systems, fans, not to mention the power to actually run those fans all of which are not required on the 6600 um, XT variations here. I would definitely go with this one, uh, not really the six card rigs. I like to maximize for these low power cards. I like to put as many as possible onto a single rig. I did a, 20, uh, a 12 GPU build with 1616 Ti's recently, and all my 6600 and 6600 XT rigs for the most part all have eight plus cards with the exception of that one I recently updated with the 1070s is I only did that because I already had the rig available so I just used it okay I might move it into an 8 card rig at some point in the future as well so there you have it um, once you've re met your ROI uh, essentially your profit per day is actually higher on both 6600 variations as well uh, in this case over a dollar in this case um, looks like uh, 75 since it's just under a dollar 85 86 cents for the 6600 six card rigs so um, this is the analysis, guys. So I really, when I crunch numbers here and I look at all this, I don't really think it's better to get 3090s. Maybe for density, so if you don't have a lot of space. But that being said, you can't pack a room full of 3090s and expect your room not to be lava hot. 
literally you will be breathing lava. Uh, 40 to 50 degree uh, temperatures, unless you have lots of uh, windows and lots of ventilation in that room. Maybe you can get by with 30, 90s um, and pack more in there. But if you're a home miner and you want to make most, more efficiency of your power, um, maybe not so much space, then these ones are better. So if you have extra space at home, uh, and you want to maximize your power usage to get the most bang for buck on your power, I would get more efficient cards uh, and save yourself the hassle. Um, I do have one rig of this 3090s, but I'm not going to be building six card 3090 uh, rigs because of all the issues that I've been having with the thermal throttling, having to change the pads out. It's just not worth it. Even though, even though it is cheaper, I'll pay the little extra, wait for the ROI, and have the peace of mind that these car, these rigs are running a little more consistently, not keeping me up at night, not worrying about uh, crashes and, and having to put giant fans on them um, and whatnot. So anyways, guys, I hope that made sense. This is the breakdown of the analysis. If you disagree or if you agree, comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Make sure you smash that like button. Literally smash it, guys. Um, the more likes and more subscribes I get on the channel, the more I'm motivated to actually create more content. So make sure you subscribe as well and tap on that notification bell. If you do, you'll get notified when I release a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. It is Friday here. Hope you have a good weekend um, and keep on mining and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.